chance of survival dropping. of the ruins. Pass southbound through this forest in order to reach Larset village, must we not? Yes. If we continue southeast from here, we should be near the place where we first met. That's it. Well, if it's on the way, mind if we stop by my pod for a sec? Of course. Let us be off then. We must neutralized. press on! over with. Hmm. 
about time for a rest. We have company. We must pass through the forest to reach Larset village. Time offers us no respite. I know. I'll be quick about it. Threat neutralized. Sweet! Prep for engagement. Cut the missile in half and destroy. Threat neutralized. Another day. Huh. It uh, should be just a little ways more to the east. Let me call my brother real quick before we head out. Antonio, do you read me? Ray, loud and clear. Was anyone in the pod? Nope, just freight. It was one of the pods Elena ejected right before the Edis went down. Wait, she did the ejecting? Then... Look, I don't want to hear it, okay? As the ship's captain, I have to assume everyone on the crew's safe until accounted for. Right? Yeah. Uh, for now, I'm gonna look for Chloe. And I'm gonna do it with the two from yesterday. Think you can trust them? Does it matter? I need them. But even if I didn't, they're reasonable people. Plus, they saved my life. That's enough for me. All right. I'm gonna try to get to you as fast as I can. Tell Dad not to lose any hair over it, will you? Too late. He already has over the fact that you called me for help and not him. <laughs> Parents, man. <laughs> hey, Ray. Before you go, let me talk with your two traveling companions. Hey, uh, uh, my bro says he wants to talk with you guys. Uh, uh hello? Uh, yes? Ah, uh, 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 yesterday I was pretty upset and said some pretty rude things to you. Apologies for not doing this face to face. I'd like to make a fresh start. My name is Antonio Lawrence, Raymond's older brother. Uh, Sir Antonio, my name is Leticia Asarius. And with me is... Uh, um, Albert Bergholm, sir. Miss Asarius, Mr. Bergholm. I'm sure Raymond here comes off as a strange and weird man. But please, look after my little brother for me. The Lawrence family comes from a long line of well-known merchants. We always pay our debts. Nothing to fear, sir. We shall do our utmost to ensure the safety of your brother. I appreciate it. Ray, try not to be too much of an annoyance to your new friends. Good luck. Over and out. You are loved. I wish, but nah, you just can't help treating me like a kid. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't wait to sleep in a bed. Let's get going. Agreed. Let us depart. Come on, let's make our way to that village. Right. <sighs> Larset village is to the south.
down this way. See that? Well, that's over with. Sweet! Initiate emergency protocols. Will not be the last. Everyone all right? Neutralized. here with all these trees. Hey, are we going the right way? We are. Stay on this course. Forest is teeming with death. Remain vigilant. Nice. Destroy. We must we press on. on. Target sighted. Target sighted. If we continue on our southward course, we should depart the forest. Excellent. The village is just beyond the fence. Unfortunately not. It will take us some time to pass through the Locus region. Destroy. We are now entering the Larkus region. Come, let us continue to the south. Right, let's go. Much easier without all the trees, too. Agreed. This is the ideal terrain for walking. Threat neutralized. Prep for engagement. Stay so well aware. Cut them to ribbons. Destroy. Threat neutralized. Destroy. Your Highness, the village of Larset lies to our west. West, indeed. Ooh, can't wait to keep my feet up. Take the odd back. <sighs> I second the lack. Come, let us be about it. <laughs> Come on. Destroy. 
Our set village is not far now. Did it last? Don't you think we should hide that thing? Kind of makes us stand out. I do not think it an issue, as it closely resembles a semiomancer's orb, such as the one over there. A semiomancer's orb, huh? All right then. Besides, I would like to prioritize our lodgings. A nice rest will do us all some good. We have arrived. You want to face off? Don't blame me if I wipe the floor with you. You want to face off? Don't blame me if I wipe. Follow my lead. So, it falls to me. in us.
You looking for a match? Find them. That's the kind of meal that makes you glad to be alive. All right, so, where do you want to begin? First, would you mind telling us whence you hail? If you thought I said some weird stuff before, brace yourself. I'm from another world, one that's far, far away in the sky. Another world, you say? Far away in the sky? You know, like how you can cross a mountain to get to another village, or the ocean to get to another continent. If you fly high enough, you can cross the sky and reach other worlds. Like the stars? Which star do you call home? Whoa now. One, it's a planet, not a star. Two, you can't see it from here. I've never heard something so asinine. Well, that's because people on planets like yours don't usually learn this for a couple hundred more years. Anyway, my job is to transport cargo between planets. And we now know, Duma was my cargo. My vessel, the Yetus, was attacked by another planet's battleship. And I was forced to flee here. Right now, I'm looking for a crew member, Chloe. Gotta be traipsing about here somewhere. Oddly lackadaisical way of describing being lost in an unknown land. She's got a good head on her shoulders. And she's great with languages. And roughing it a little won't bother her. And now, I'd like you to answer something for me. What's a princess doing sneaking around outside her castle? With only one bodyguard in tow? Because I too am looking for someone. Per my intelligence, at one point, he was seen entering the Medum ruins. Therefore, I have a proposition. In return for helping in your search for Chloe, I would like you to assist us in ours. Sure, but uh, I don't know how much help I'll be. I'm not even from here. The person we seek is hardly congenial, but he is inquisitive. Your presence will be more persuasive than any argument we can make. Sounds like I got my work cut out for me. Perhaps some further information would help. His name is Midas Felgreed. He was a former Meister, one of the three most accomplished Semiomancers in all of Asarius. I don't really want to run around looking for a semiomancer. At the same time, I don't know anything about this planet, so I'm not gonna find Chloe on my own. What do you think? Yeah, finally get to a bed and I can't even sleep. Maybe a walk will tire me out. Hey, can't sleep either, huh? I am simply thinking. Do not try to curry favor with me. Hey, buddy, we're traveling companions. Stop button heads with me. Silence your tongue! <sighs> mm-hmm. It's late, so silence your tongue a bit. Okay? Don't want to blow your cover now. Her Highness attracts much attention, including those of your ilk. Outwards, it may be best for royalty to be cordial with commoners, but such friendliness makes her vulnerable. You know you're not gonna change her by being the uptight one, right? The issue lies in the fact that no one other than me cares to remonstrate her. Listen, you've been through a lot, alright? You gotta get some rest. 
Her Highness said she could not sleep, so she went walking. I must be prepared to aid her should anything unfortunate happen. I see. You're very diligent. It is my sworn duty as a king's guard. Now go sleep instead of loitering about like some laggard. You bother me. Yeah, that's real nice. Damn, man. You don't have to be so ruthless. Uh, which way could Her Highness have gone? Is something wrong? Trouble sleeping? Yeah, yeah, a little. I've been taking walks till I get tired. My apologies. I should not be burdening you with our troubles. Hey, I'm the one who said we should join up. I would have never been able to take care of food and lodging by myself. So don't be shy. Let me help you too. <laughs> well, if you insist on it then... Atta girl. We don't need more than one negative Nelly around, and Albert's got us covered there. I am the reason he remains so troubled. Please try not to think ill of him. No, no, no. I know. I know. I guess he's, uh, been through a lot, right? All those worries had turned anyone's smile upside down. Do you feel no need to inquire, to fill in said details? Where we are is within the kingdom. And Albert's always wary of the Empire. The princess of said kingdom is sneaking around looking for a banished wise man. I can imagine said details. There's bound to be bumps in the road ahead. Let's at least enjoy the quiet while we can, princess. Might I, then, ask something of you? Sure, name it. Could you refrain from calling me by my royal title and use only my name? I gotta think that's gonna make Albert a little mad. Yes, well, we are undercover, and this would make things enjoyable for me. Do you agree, Ray? Yep, gotcha. Excellent. Now, with that off my chest, I do believe I shall return and rest. You would do well to do the same. You got it. Good night, Leticia. Yes. Have a good night, Ray. Alrighty, let's head back to the inn. Oh, and hey, do you think I could keep using this weapon? Of course. Consider it yours. Hey, there is also a merchant within the village. Shall work. we take a look yeah, tomorrow? Yeah. Sounds good. It. Gotta be ready for anything around here. Alright, I think I'm finally getting tired. Guess I will head back. Are you unable to sleep, Raymond? I mean, Ray. <laughs> oh, that will take some getting used to. Are you unable to sleep, Raymond? <laughs> I mean... Oh, here to take me on, are you? I... You must be exhausted. Rather than wander about aimlessly, why not convalesce at the inn? Anyone home? It's been a while since I got a good night's rest. <sighs> Morning. Before we head out, I just wanted to thank you again. So, thanks, Leticia, Albert. Good morning to you too, Ray. So, uh, where exactly are we headed? I kind of forgot. The mining town of Delric, which lies far to the south. Once we reach it, we can take stock of our situation. 
Oh, right, right. Sorry, this is the first time I've had a good night's sleep in a while. I'm still not quite with it yet. My husband is coming. Then you'll have yourself to blame if you are attacked. He's a knight for the royal capital, isn't he? That's as good a reason as any to whip up a nice meal. Thanks. You two, let us be on our way. Is Delric Village far from here? It is. The Delvia region ahead is vast, 
I would wager even a seasoned traveler would consider it quite a distance. Great. You're not by chance hiding another mode of transportation. Come, we make for the region of Delvir. Mm, southbound from our current position, I believe. <laughs> Deterred. You seem to be getting used to using a sword, Ray. At first, your movements were rather unrefined, to say the least. Yeah, you think so? I guess I can't really tell if I am refined or not. You need merely continue practicing. I shall be relying on your skill. Well, I shall do what I can. Very well, I shall tell you. Continue your current southern course. Okay, kind of spooky. How did you know I was going to ask you for directions? I merely read the look of confusion written upon your face. Not to be a pain, but are we almost to the Delvir region? Seems we have finally crossed into Delvir territory. Keep on keeping on, I guess. Delric Village lies to the southwest. First, however, we must continue farther south. I should come with me. Threat neutralized. Mind your footing. Oh, hush, this is nothing. You worry far too much. It is because of your predisposition towards recklessness the moment I turn away. I must be vigilant. Do not treat me like a child, Albert. <laughs> Neutralize toxins immediately. Go. Bleed! Grow, get strong! 
stronger. Threat neutralized. We should be going south from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, my bad. You would do well not to become a hindrance. Yeah, yeah, I know. most useful. Enemies up ahead. I'm well aware. Is that Delric village over there? about bustling. Well, Delric is the largest and most productive mining town in the kingdom. Don't expect us to go looking for you if you get lost. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what's our next move? First thing tomorrow morning, we go pay a visit to the resident Iatromancer. Iatromancer? A rare breed of specialized semiomancer. They are charged with mending people's wounds and treating their ailments. And we're paying this person a visit. I've been picking up after you this whole time. Okay, see you around. Oops, sorry about that. It's quite all right. You're not hurt, are you? Oh, I'm fine. Never seen you here before. But if you're feeling under the weather, don't hesitate to drop by the infirmary. The Iatromancer there is one of the best in the business, so you'll be in good hands. Alright, gotta run. That was strange. <laughs> 